All right, run gate analysis review here. Got some pretty cool uh, skeletal structure videos from this run DNA app that Build uses. Um, so I've got five key takeaways for improvement in my stride. I'm gonna read them off real quick and then I'll play this video. Uh, number one is excessive vertical oscillation, moving too high up and down, not enough forward. Uh, number two, relatively low cadence. Number three, stiff knee angle at initial contact. Number four, excessive ankle supination at toe off. And number five, poor knee drive. I'll kind of explain all these quickly. Um, but think that this video sort of gives a great example. I mean, this is my exact run stride. All those white dots are little sensors that were put onto my joints and relatively important bone points. Um, Main angle here that I think is helpful to show what's going on is this left side angle. So um, excessive vertical oscillation. So that basically just means that I'm bouncing up and down too much. And you can kind of see that here. That's a little bit more clear when you see the side angle of me actually running and you can see my head. Um, but ultimately, I am wasting too much energy going up and down and I need to spend more energy moving forward. Um, number two, relatively low cadence. Um, I'll touch on that in a second because some of these other things kind of impact that. Um, number three, stiff knee angle at initial contact. So this is a big unlock for me because my big pain point when I run is the front of my hips. And we can see that this is my kind of ground contact point here. And this leg is almost dead straight. So I need to have more of a knee bend so that I can engage more lower body muscles and ultimately like brace the impact of each stride. When I have such a straight leg here, basically all that impact force is going right up my kinetic chain and just blasting my hips. And the run gate analysis uh, girl that I worked with, Caitlin, she basically described this as me running with the brakes on. Um, number four. Excessive ankle supination at toe off. Um, this is related to this kind of front angle kind of shows it. Um, really what's going on is this is my left foot over here. This is the ankle that I had surgery on in 2019. And instead of basically launching off of, um, they call it the first ray, really the ball of the foot and launching off of that big toe, I kind of roll to the outside and I come off the outer edges of my toes. Um, yeah, I can't totally tell from the skeletal structure here, but that's kind of what's going on. Um, number five, poor knee drives. This kind of loops back to some of the initial points. I'll bring it back to this side angle here. So poor knee drive. So this is basically the farthest point that my knee goes right here. And we want to see this farther out. Um, what's kind of going on from this point is I have almost like a swing with my ankle. So the knee should be, should be driving farther forward. And since it's not, I'm kind of compensating by just swinging the ankle, just sort of a swing there. Whereas it should be more of a knee drive and the foot should just naturally fall to the ground. Um, so you can see poor knee drive, then I'm swinging the ankle, and then I'm landing with that stiff knee angle. Um, I do have a good uh, forefoot strike. I'm not landing on the heel, but ultimately we wanna have more knee drive, probably more ankle lean as well. Um, so those are kind of the five things, excessive vertical oscillation, relatively low cadence, stiff knee angle at initial contact, excessive ankle supination at toe off and five is poor knee drive. So correcting that knee drive, that will help with the vertical oscillation because it'll have me moving forward rather than up. Forward knee drive will also help pick my cadence up because I'll be, waste, uh, I'll be spending less time wasted going up and down. Um, more forward knee drive will also help correct that stiff knee angle. Um, and then excessive ankle supination, that's a little bit more of a separate issue, um, but it's really the poor knee drive that will fix the other three. Um, so it's kind of all bundled in together here. Uh, this video obviously shows it really well. This is my exact running form. So there we go.